part three of the Anicubic Cossel Linear Plus assembly, electrics and final tests. Now I attached the power pack. Again, you need two bolts and two T-nuts. I aligned the T-nuts, placed in the extrusion and loosely tightened the nuts. Got the power block and placed it next to the metal bar. Aligned the holes and then I could tighten up the bolts properly. And then with another two nuts, tightened the power block to the metal bar. Now it's time to return to the electrics. I'm not going to go into too much detail as it's best to follow the manual. You need to release the motherboard from the frame to help and make sure that you get a good connection with each of your cables. Make sure you follow the manual exactly and place your cables on the right pins. If you do this everything should be fine.
After I'd put all the cables on, I turned the printer over and reconnected the motherboard. I found this a little bit easier to access the bolts this way after all the cables were connected. Then I went over all the cables again just to make sure I had them all in the right place. I tidied up the cables a little bit and now I put the hot plate on and made sure everything was in the right place and nothing was touching the hot plate if I could avoid it. Now I cleaned the hot plate with a bit of alcohol, preparing it for the self-adhesive sticker. I aligned it to the back edge, pulled off a small amount of the backing, stuck on the edge, and then smoothed it down as I pulled out the rest of the backing. Now I checked the bed was as level as possible, adjusting the bed seats to try and get a little bit more grip on the bed itself. Retightened the bolts and the assembly was finished. All told, I probably spent about two hours assembling the printer. I took my time and hopefully got it right. And it was now time to do the bed leveling. I placed the bed leveling sensor, which is held on with a magnet onto the bottom of the hot end. And then again, followed the manual to do the bed leveling.
At this stage, you just need to store your settings that you have acquired from the bed leveling and it is now completed. I've got to say it was quite simple and worked first time, which I am surprised. I expected to have to play with it a lot more. The first print was, was a test print, which was on the SD card supplied, but it wasn't pre-sliced. So I had to open it up in Cura and slice it which took a little while as the version of Cura on the ST card did not want to load. But after finding an appropriate printer that I could adapt, it was pretty straightforward. Okay, my final thoughts. I've now had this printer for around one week and have printed approximately five or six models. At this precise moment, every one has come out perfect. I haven't had any problems with the prints itself. I've got to say I'm very happy with this printer. Thank you very much for watching this video. I hope you found it of some help and if you made it this far, I'm very surprised. Please subscribe and like for more videos to come. Thank you.